What's up, my peeps? How's it going? Today, finally, we're gonna talk about Lightroom presets, how I edit my photos, how I get this stuff done for my Instagram grid. Let's get it going. has been asked probably the most out of any question over the past year and I really put it off I really just procrastinated with getting this done over the past year I've created hundreds of presets but I narrowed it down to the five presets that I loved and used the most if you scroll through my grid whoop, 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 any photo that you see was probably edited with one of these presets I'm gonna hop in Lightroom and kind of go through the process on how I use these presets but before I do that, something that I just want to mention is that you can't just throw a preset on a photo and expect it to look perfect. Chances are with any preset pack out there, you are gonna have to do some small adjustments, maybe with your exposure or your white balance, just to make sure that that photo looks as good as possible. The biggest reason on why I love using presets is because for me, I have a little bit of a grid OCD problem. I like strive to have such a consistent grid like the, just the colors the tones everything that is very important for me and the thing about presets is when it comes to your HSL or your tone curves you can keep a very consistent look when you use presets all you're doing is applying a look that you've created to every single one of your photos so having presets that are consistent with your brand and your style like I just I love that if you guys decide to pick up this pack, there's five presets for $5. I have a link down in the description below. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to import them into Lightroom and then how I use them. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is save them to a location where you're gonna remember. You're gonna come up here, click this little plus thingy mabob, go to import presets. Your little finder thing's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna click on the folder to import the folder and then from there, I select all my presets to dump that into that folder. And then you click import and boom, they're over here on the left hand side. So we got the five presets, Autumn, Barcelo, Botanic, River, and Vancouver. So I wanna show you guys real quick on what I was talking about when I said that not every preset is going to just be perfect once you throw it on a photo. You may have to make some adjustments. So for this particular photo, I really like Botanic, but as you can see, it's maybe a little bit dark, so we can bring up that exposure. That's all. You just like throw the thing on, adjust your exposure, and, and I mean, that's pretty much it. You're good to go. You could export this out, throw it up on the grid, and get a million likes, because look at this handsome felly. You know, if we come over to the sleeve one, you know, why not throw uh, Autumn on there, get those deep reds going? Maybe just the exposure, just a little bit. Maybe, maybe bring that contrast back in, just a scotch, and then, Hit Y on your keyboard to see it before and after. Look at that, that's fierce. And here's the thing, sometimes you'll get a photo and you'll just be able to slap every single preset on and it's gonna look amazing. You know, like Autumn looks great. Barcelo looks awesome. Botanic looks moody. River looks nice. Vancouver, woo, look at that. Here's an instance where maybe you would wanna bring down your exposure because it's just a little too much. Just maybe give it a little bit more of a darker moody look to it, then you're good to go. Or you could go with Botanic and it's already like that. Look how dark that is. Maybe maybe we would even wanna bring the exposure up in this one just a scotch. You could even maybe bring the highlights down just a little bit so it's not too, too much and there you go. Like, it's really all preference. You don't have to just take these presets and just throw them on and call it a day. You can adjust them and you should adjust them all right everybody thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button leave a comment down below smash that keyboard subscribe if you aren't already ring that bell and stay hungry peace i'm not gonna pop back up in the frame this time so you can uh you can leave now i'm not coming back if you're not subscribed you should okay see you later